<clears throat> All right, we got our buckets done here. Uh, cut, smoothed out, grinded uh, these things flat. I haven't actually test fitted them yet, but they should slide right into here. Uh, I think the other one I did have to do a little bit of a slight grinding, so, uh, so that fits in pretty well. So this one, uh, yeah, I can see some spots right here. It just needs to be touched up a little bit with the grinder. Um, it's kind of expected. I've also got to do the back part. I haven't done the back part of this one. As you can see, I've done this one. The lights are in there, but uh, so take our buckets now. We'll get to that later. Um, buckets, we get the nuts off of here. Do we uh, actually put this in and tighten it up this time? So we got a pretty good idea how this thing's gonna fit. Remember, you got your nice magnetic socket, helps for when you get into deep spots and just start the bolt. Uh, hold it in there, convenience. Uh, bottoms out because the stud's a little long, so I've got a deep socket over here to finish tightening them up. Uh, sometimes they're a pain in the ass to work with because the magnets don't fucking let go when it goes in sideways. Like that. This one mounted in here. Oh, I put it in the right way, right? down deep no one will see the fucking tail lines because it'll be inside of a hole <laughs> that's why i kind of got these sort of poking out a little bit so that they should be seen from the side too um as much as we like it cool and everything it also needs to be safe one of the reasons why i'm building these and though i have custom tail lights for those of you that have seen my other videos because those uh i don't know if the leds are just getting dim but the other morning i pulled up and uh it almost seemed kind of hard to see the running light I know a lot of times I've had people come up behind me and say I don't have tail lights on because you know they're blacked out, sprayed black. They look good. You can see the light just fine uh, when somebody shows up with their 500 billion fucking candle watt LED shining on the back of it. You know their light is a lot brighter than the LED on the other side of that tinted tail light, so they can't actually see the uh, tail light from where they're at, even though. I was sitting right next to a car. The car pulled up next to me, so they couldn't see it with a car behind me. I was telling me I didn't have tail lights on. Like I could see the reflection right through your car, but you know it is what it is. I kind of get it. I like it all blacked out. It looks good. Uh, I think a lot of people can agree it looks good, but uh, I guess people need to be able to see me anyway. So uh, those will end up just being wall hangers. Um, I got a lot of those around here now. Uh, so some badass custom tail lights that basically are never going to be used again, unless maybe could try one of these but again i don't know if the leds in there are uh, bright enough to really overpower these people's fucking headlights anymore um it's got to have the goddamn power of the sun behind their fucking lens for whatever reason uh but uh, i don't know if you can see that but there is a slight difference in a gap a little bit larger gap here than than in here uh that's why i made those holes a little bit larger i can go in and readjust that later when i actually go to final mount it when everything's done i'm not worried about it right now just uh, getting the feel for it, how I like it, um, as it sits in there. Uh, it's not going to be able to go all the way in because I haven't, obviously, I haven't cut the the back side of this one out yet. Uh, it's definitely going to hit in there. This one's already catching on, you know, this guy right here. Uh, but overall, it's see, yeah, turn signals be on the outside. You know, keep the turn signals on the out and the fucking uh, reverse lights on the inner. Uh, I think that's more more of a proper, efficient way to do that. Um, far as that's going to go in there until I trim the back side but I've got a pretty good idea again I'm probably not going to get this one in because I still have to trim that a little bit it's a little bit of shading on it uh not that it's hairy or anything <laughs> uh something like that but when it's all said and done it'll end up looking like this one and obviously I gotta I think what I'm gonna do is when I actually go to permanently mount these things in um angle there uh probably gonna you know pull it apart the lens and the housing um i think i'm gonna fiberglass it from the inside because nothing really needs to you know the outer shell behind of the bucket behind this lens isn't really necessary for anything other than it's just holding the, the light and so that's what's mounted to this i think i'm gonna fiberglass that to the lens on the inside you know keep it all in there you know nothing's gonna be in there uh, it can be, look as ugly as it wants to be to do a couple layers of fiberglass make sure it's nice and strong um, And technically I should never have to get in into there again 
because if I need to pull the tail lights, I can just take out the nuts and pull the whole tail light out from the from this right here. You know, this is all together, and I can still get to it. So I'm thinking when I put it all back, the, the lens and the housing back together, I think I'm gonna glue it 100%. That way, the the lens and this housing will never come back apart again. Um, maybe uh, I was debating also the you know for filler on the inside. Uh, that way, just in case any light. Uh, goes through or something or some light from the interior hitting it i don't know however that works um if anything crazy just so that like light doesn't sh shine through in here i think i might try to foam spray some foam in there just to kind of it'll, it'll nice and lightweight but it'll also uh kind of give it like a solid um like insulation barrier basically it'll insulate the whole thing no light can ever come through the lens even though the, this lens by the time i'm done after it's fiberglass and it'll be body work because I have to get rid of these edges and stuff. I mean, I'm not going to leave it. I'm not going to leave it like that. You know, I have to do some kind of either filler or something in there, sand it down nice and good, make it smooth so it looks like it's one complete piece, which after it's all bonded together, it will be. Uh, but it needs to look smooth and nice, like it's like it's an actual bucket inside of a housing that holds the tail light. So obviously that has to get some kind of body work, probably even maybe some fiberglass, uh, obviously some bondo and sanded nice. Um, uh, get all that in there. That'll be a so this whole housing lens. These buckets will be a one permanent piece. Um, and then you know, as far as tail lights, you can see I can change the tail lights from the backside if I need to pull the housing for whatever reason. If it breaks, I can change the housing. Um, uh, it'd be cool to do some rings or something in there, but I've I've seen videos. Apparently, these things are really hard to uh, to pull apart and do all that stuff uh, for whatever reason more than more than usual. You know, it's more than just uh, putting them in the oven and peeling them apart like a regular headlight or taillight housing. That uh, you do on all the super duties and shit like that. Um, uh, my next dilemma. Maybe you guys can help me out. Uh, I'm having a hard time deciding on one direction because uh, not like the terrible band. Um, you know, only half of this circle lights up on the running light. I don't know if you can see the line in there where it's at. The line. So the whole thing on the brake light lights up, but during the when the running lights are on, uh, only half of each one. So I'm having a tough time deciding if they should be, you know, tops or top and bottom or bottoms or, you know, top bottom here, you know, side, you know, outers, inners or mix, outer, inner, inner, outer. Uh, I can even angle them so it's angled like that or fucking this way or down below. It really can be infinite. But they should obviously match side to side. Um, uh, you know, these should either be the same or they should be uh, opposite type of deal, mirrored, whatever the deal. And it could do down, down here, up here. Uh, you know, same thing, vice versa, whatever. I mean, almost infinite options. And I'm kind of leaning towards maybe towards the side a little bit, give it a little bit of a you know like an angry eye looking deal, maybe possibly. Um, I think up and I think just the top is too generic. It looks too factory-ish. You know, I want it to look factory, but I also want it to be custom. Um, but overall, these I think these things would be badass. Uh, as you can see, I got some work to do here. I got to fit it. Uh, finish fitting those ones. Uh, make sure they go through all the way like these guys. Um, so I'm gonna got a little bit of grinding on these things to do, which is not fun. This stuff stinks to grind on, and uh, makes a big mess. So I might just do that outside this time. Um, got that, then I'll probably next next step would be, I really gotta decide on which way they need, I want them to face, cause once I, that'll be fiberglass in these buckets in, cause they can only mount that way or upside down. So if I do it up and down, then they can only face up or down for the rest of their lives, you know, so, or vice versa, you know, whichever direction they can only mount that way or the other way. Um, so permanently fiberglass in those buckets in is gonna be a major decision. Um, which way to do it right now i still think i'm kind of leaning towards like a, a top outer corner uh, beyond both edges so it'd be kind of give it that that sort of angry eye looking deal maybe um i think that'd be cool uh, and when you hit the brake lights obviously the whole thing lights up uh turn signals reverse lights uh yeah, just looking for something custom uh got to be different than everybody else the only real custom tail lights out there those shitty ebay ones are just a bunch of fucking led they look kind of weird there's no style or anything to them. I've seen a couple other random custom ones that one or two that look good. Um, 
Uh, anyway, give me your thoughts on which way you think would be coolest to angle these things for the running lights. Uh, and then we'll, we're gonna get to it.